guys, Appa here again. Uh, today we'll be playing another Vintage Cube draft. I'm having so much fun with this cube. It's honestly one of the better ways of playing Magic, I think. Um, the cube is not perfect, it has some um, room for improvements in my opinion, but it's really, really great. Um, really, really happy that it's on Magic Online for at least a week more, I think. So we get to play with this before the next set drops. And then we can just work on that when it comes. But for now, let's just try to open some power, shall we? Okay, Jorian is not power. I love Recurring Nightmare. I think GT is fine. Uh, Winds is pretty good, but again, normally you, you just wield that. Overall, a pretty mopey pack. There isn't even lands to pick. I think it's either Nightmare, Damnation, if you want to go for a black kind of attrition deck. Eureka is not something I want. Uh, Hoof may be the higher ceiling card. This is the card, the top end you want in your green decks. And we are not passing anything green, so I think it's reasonable to pick this. The other pick would be like Student of Warfare try to go for an aggressive white deck, Damnation try to go for an attrition deck, but I think Critter Hoof is just um, that much better in the green decks than these other cards in their respective decks, you know. Uh, either, um, I mean, green has other top end cards that are pretty great, but Hoof is Hoof, you know. Pretty difficult to top this as a top end for um, the green decks. So here we have like this member, which is goes in any deck, honestly. Cursor, which is fine, again, try to just close green, but this is more for an attrition green deck than uh, the mono green deck, right? The mono green deck tries to play just all one drops and just hoof, but we can still just play hoof in a normal deck. Maybe it's this member though. I love Cursor, but it's just value. And I think we want to go for a more streamlined deck or pivot into something else. And this member allows us to do that. So, this member for me. Here we can have like Lotus Cobra. Theming Skydiver is a pretty great card in this cube. Um, Ember is fine, the Ritual is again pretty good, some good Signets here, but uh, to go with Crater Hoof you want to have like creatures that run, so I'm going to pick the Cobra, something that we can uh, use to run, um, it's pretty efficient, and uh, it can work also in non mono green decks, like it fixes you too, so any trace with creatures, which is what you want in nutrition decks. I'm going to pick that. Not very happy with how this draft is going though. Here we could go for Catacombs, Inquisition and go just for the kind of Jan archetype. But maybe even Catacombs is better in that archetype. I know it's pretty close, but I think an on-color fixer is pretty good as well with the Cobra 2. Yeah, these packs are being pretty but honestly, like, even here, what's the best card? I'm not sure. I think it's between Inquisition and Bring Wimmer for the white decks, which is kind of just okay. So, yeah, I think Catacombs is reasonable here. Again, we are not very happy with how this is going, but we never know. So here we have Fracture Identity, which is criminally late for it. Uh, we could also go for the Pilgrim. But with Cobra Fetch, this member, we might go into a more colorful kind of deck, you know? Just play all the good cards we find. And Pilgrim is kind of the worst of the mana dorks, maybe tied with um, Elves of Deep Shadow for the mono green deck, I mean, right? If you are Celestia, this is better, but. We are not in any of that just yet. So I think I'm going to go for this. Um, I'm not so sure what's open, but a late fracture identity is just 
a very big tell that something might be in that alley. You could also go for Blawander. Here, Caracas is also pretty good. Badlands works with our Catacombs. Doesn't fix for Fracture Identity though. Fletcher Thirst is a good removal spell. I might go for the Caracas though. Um, this card is so free to play in our deck and can be so, so, so stupidly good. I might just go for this. Now, here we have Nycroxa, uh, Primal Command. Yeah, this is not going super well for us. Nothing here is pretty, is good. I mean, nothing here is interesting for me. I go for the Primal Command. It's another 5 drop. Works with Cobra and a Fetch Run if I count correctly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. So it's something we can throw out on turn 3. I think I'm going to go for this. Just stay open and see what's what's in our colors. Or, sorry, what's being passed to us. Marsh Flats. Yeah, I think I want the Marsh Flats. And again, I, I think I'm going to go for a 5 color nonsense deck. Mostly because it's what's being passed to me. So. Hmm. So all the white cards wield. I think I can go for the Winds of Abandon play. It's pretty great when you also have creatures. Gita is also pretty good. Student wheeling means that no one is on mono white, probably. So I, I need to take that into account here. Um, Trophy or Ooze, I have already 5 drops and Ooze is not that premium. I think I'm just going to go for Trophy. I don't really care about the rest of the cards. Hellkite again is a 5 drop that's super replaceable. Signet. Giver of Runes. We might go just backdoor into Mono White, something that's very open all the time. Chupa cover is just fine. I'm going to go for the signets. Yeah, so Vindicate. We are kind of in this um absent colors, I think. Vindicate might be okay. Deed or land tax. Really like Deed. <clears throat> land tax is good with looting effects and all that to just generate value. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pick the on color card. We are not playing Hoof here. Croxa might be something interesting if we go for John instead of Absent. Here we have Strip Mine, which is great. We also have Joraga Trace Bigger. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for Free Speaker Wheel or Ravages of War. That sounds like a good plan, right? We play this on one, then on two we level it up, then play Dolus Cobra. Yeah, everything will look fine there. Strip Mine is so strong though. But yeah, I'm going to go for the tree speaker. Just try to go for a mid-range pile here. I'm not super happy with how this is going, but... Okay, so we have options here. We could take Godless Shrine works with Catacombs to fetch white. Tundra works with Flats to fetch blue. I think it's more important to make your your main colors first and then your splashes though fixing for blue is going to be hard or harder than the other fixers so I'm going to pick Tundra here just as a speculation it's kind of weird but bear with me blue strand yeah this is great fixing here it's going to fetch for other dual lands that we may find and the other Cards I will consider would be like Heartless Acts. Um, 
Arsent Thicket. No. So I think the better one is just a good good draw here. So here is Savannah, which is pretty strong. Makes our flats, catacombs, and flood strong better, so there's that. I would love to pick one of these, but they are probably going to wheel, so no real reason to just go for that right now. Souls, I think, is great. Souls is a great way of just um, having blockers. Can also work very well with uh, Sagaulets, Opposition, um, things like that. We are also passing Colorless Ramp, but I don't think we care about Colorless Ramp right now. Okay, here we have Murderous Rider, Copter, Anime Dead. It's pretty late for Anime Dead. There's also Mind Slaver. Huh. I don't know about this. Copter is pretty good. Is like a placewalker. You just need to have other creatures. We're a bit light on creatures right now. We have like three. But that will change. Creatures are easier to find than other cards. Here it's Fatal Push. Wow, Colossus. We would have had like Tinker Colossus, but yeah, our deck is not looking super strong right now, but just bear with me. It's going to look great in a bit. So it's either Dryad or Push. We already have a lot of removal. I want to take the Dryad. It will help us fix our mana, among other stuff. Here we could take like Grudge. Pyrexian Rager or Magadon. Or Magadon is. We also are waiting for our um, Ravages of War next pack, which we'll probably will find since there is here on Magadon. So we might go for the just kill all their stuff kind of deck. Wow, interesting. They they picked the Ravages. <laughs> so here we could go for Elder Gargaroth. Embracool, Terastodon, Tutor, all these cards are just in our color, so it means that we are pretty well set up for that, but I think I like Gargaroth. It's kind of Pain Slayer, similar, but does much more things. Great, so this is great. I would love also a Mesmeric Fiend here, or a Relic Quarter, but Godless Shrine works very well with our three fetches we have already. So there's that. Here we have one. Let me check the amount of removal we have. One, two, three, and maybe even four. This also counts. This also counts. So I think I'm on Champlain Bend. Creature lands in these attrition decks are important. Uh, here, Cosmic Judgment is better than Downfall for sure. I'm not on red at the moment. I'm on all colors except red, but Blue Grave would be fine here. I'm going to pick the. Ascent, the judgment, I mean. Here, yeah, Massacre Worm might be fine. Post board. Murderous Rider and Kaya. So, this is difficult actually. They are both great. This is a Prince Walker though, so I'm going to pick that. And um, Push Wield. So, this kills like several things. This kills uh, small creatures, right? or Mox, or it also cleans graveyards and all that, so it has its applications. Swords is pretty good. Leo all this other card that we could splash. We have Burton Catacomb, Marsh Flats, and Flutter Strong. I'm going to separate this so I remember which colors can we fetch, because this is being a bit messy right now. So we can fetch for white, black, blue, and green. So any of these that we will, maybe less so the Saber Thunder we don't care about, but Water Grave, Scrubland are great. Leobold is a great card just by itself. Uh, it's a threat that if they answer, they, we have to withdraw a card. So it's even if they just kill it immediately, we are ahead. And yeah, it's 
pretty splashable in my opinion. Twister, <laughs> we can go Leopold Twister, that's interesting, but yeah, we don't really want that, I don't think. Let me check what else can we find here, like Cultivate, Knight of the Reliquary, which also goes well with the Cobra, with the Fetch Lands. So if we go for the Time Twister, we can just wrath their hand with Leoval, but otherwise we are just not doing much. Hero is a great win condition, but I think we can just take that on the wheel instead. So in between Knight and Cultivate, both serve similar roles. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to pick the card that is also a threat, instead of just run. Taiga doesn't really help us. Vista does, though. I think I'm going to go for Vista. Maybe wheel the Wall of Omens. Wall of Omens is fine, but doesn't crook up there or anything, so... Um, yeah. Karn could also be fine. I, I wouldn't mind a Karn, but... A fetch land that works for four colors is great. Heath. What do we have in the cyborg? We have Behemoth, Massacre Worm. Okay. So we don't have any hand disruption, so maybe Kate's of Rebooter is fine. We could also pick another Heath. Heath is in our main colors. Yeah, I, I'm going to wait to get Rebooter on the wheel. Uro, Dreti, Bob. Ballista, all reasonable. I think the red is so good, but we will need to find like uh, the color sources for it. I think I, this might be an Uro deck. Um, it's kind of difficult to flash it back though, but if we do, it's fine. Maybe it's Acidic Slime instead. Is that crazy? We already have so many 3-drops. Uh, flashing this bag is kind of difficult. We will need to find us like, we can't splash it so easily. So yeah, we need to go for the slime instead. Here, the excavator is pretty great. We have so many fetch lands. This means that we can just cast our, all of our stuff pretty easily. Um, so here there is Colonnade, works well with the Excavator, uh, Kitchen Things for Aggro, Oust as another removal spell, we have like million removal spells, so we don't care about that. Yeah, I don't mind, I don't care about the red cards, so it's either these or Casualties. I don't like Casualties, I'm going to pick the Creature Land. Spirit of the Labyrinth, Vanishing Light, Elves. Elves is great, we have so many 3 drops and this fixes our color, so it's pretty good for us. So, Scrubland, we already have a lot of shrines, so it's just a um, double land, not a 3 color land. Braska is pretty good. I'm going to pick Braska instead. Uh, Hero, Lilian's Triumph, Sword. What's this one? Okay, so this one that you on top of your stuff. We don't have any combos with Parallax Wave, I don't think. Hero is just a win condition, though. Oh no, I'm going to pick it. I don't want a sword in this deck. Um. Counterspell? This may come in clutch in some matchups. Maybe not in the main though. Like memory lapse for three is not a good card, but wow, no one picked sneak attack. That's interesting. So we are not on red, uh, we don't have any good targets for sneak attack. I'm going to pick uh, oh no. Yeah, just the mana morphos. So Uro Handmaster Wield, I'm not going to play red. Just pick Uro. 
Battle Skull is a good win condition again against Agro. Therefore, there they will again just a great card. So <clears throat> we need to see how much can we stretch the mana if Uro is worth it or not, basically. Because just using it as a uh, explorer is not good enough in my book in my book. So here we have 26 cards, neither of these is power or even just one of the first picks you, you play, except maybe Fracture Identity. The rest are just okay cards. This member costs one. I don't know if this is an Armageddon deck. Maybe post board it is. But we have so many three drops. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. Primal Command can bring in like Slime. Leobold So you can get like a win condition here uh, Removal of the spell of sorts Yeah, it doesn't really look that great uh, I know it does two things, right? We can also just sh shuffle our graveyard if we need to And Yeah, all of these looks great. We have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six point and click removal spells, which is a lot, just a lot of removal spells. I like to separate my proactive place from my reactive place. So I like Winds of Abandon as additional just wrath. I may just remove Fatal Push, which is the worst of the removal spells. We have Caracas, do we have any... Well, we have Leo Vault to protect it, which is pretty great. Uro is also a good combo. You can just play it, bounce it, and do it again, so it's basically 4 mana draw a card, play a land. Uh, that's it. But those two are reasonable combos, like Leo Vault is a card that you want to protect sometimes. If the opponent goes for a removal spell and you draw a card and then you try to bounce it and then you need to use another removal spell, then you draw two cards for it. So it's a good combo. And Uro is a really great combo. If, even if you can't escape it, you just cast it, bounce it, cast it, bounce it, cast it, bounce it, get all the all the value. And if they go for remove it, then you can just protect it again. So I like Braska. Uh, works pretty well with the souls. With like lands and creatures that are really we are really used. Um, pernicious deed can just remove stuff like cheap stuff or something. This removes everything except lands and planeswalkers, artifact creature enchantment. Yeah, so we can just remove everything but our planeswalkers and just win that way, or maybe we can just remove creatures that are or of a lesser by a CMC that, for example, or a hero, whatever. So I think this is the deck. I like it. It's kind of weird. Um, so green is our main color. Then we have white and black as secondary colors in that order, I think. And then we have blue as a splash for three cards. So we have colonnade and. Uh, Shambling Bent, which are not fetchable, Caracas isn't either. So we have white, white, white. I think all of our cards are white here, right? <laughs> so we don't need anything, we don't even need a, a planes. We can fetch Savannah with Baron Catacombs, yeah. So uh, we are not going to add uh, planes. Here we have like nine, ten free sources of, of white. Then for green, we will have like this, 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 this fetches savannah, this fetches savannah. So six free sources. Okay, we are going to add a couple. And then we have four blue, one, two, what fetches tundra. Sorry, this is a bit of a, a bit boring to see, I know, but. Uh, 
what can you do? So <laughs> all of these fetches the tundra. We are going to add an island too. And for black, we have black, black, black here. This fetches the shrine, fetches the shrine, fetches the shrine. So we have six, seven sources. So we are going to add like this. Um, yeah, something like this. So we have four, five, yeah. So we have 10 sources of green. We have blue, we have one, two, four, five, six, seven, this one doesn't. Seven sources of blue, which is great for just a couple of cards. For black, we have all of these. Yeah. So we have a really good mana base, I will say. It's kind of weird though, we don't have any. Um, I mean, we don't have any busted cards or bastard starts or a very reasonable planches. Creatures, removal, base walkers, just good cards. I'm going to take a big snip here. We can bring in like Barter School against Agro to have another Gargaroth basically. Primal Command, same thing, good if we want to find a certain, a certain card. Massacre Gurm, another great top end card to just kill all the tokens or whatever. Fatal push against elves. Yeah, we don't even need mana morphos as a fixer, so yeah, I think we can play this. See you in the games. Alrighty here with a very interesting hand here. I'm thinking of mulliganing. We can't really cast any first spells except copter. Barely draw though at my mulligan. Okay, this is fine. We can play Cobra or the Signeton too, depending on if we find a land or not. I'm going to keep playing the they hold on the bottom of our deck. We have we have the double white, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to save this for the Cobra. We can go then turn two Signet, turn three Cobra plus Vista. That's three man, I think. So we can play Dryad in the same turn, right? So we play Cobra, then no, sorry, we play Signet. Next turn we have three mana, we play Cobra, holding like a black or something. Play the Vista Cranky, fetch anything. We have two landfall triggers plus the land plus the mana floating, so it's four. Yeah, I'm going to go for that because if they have a removal spell, they, they can kill the cover right now. I want to get all the value before that happens. So let's play the savannah, save the fetches for the cobra and just play the signets. If they continue to draw cards with library, that's fine, but we might just be able to just put a lot of things. Okay, so they have Grizzle Brand. Hope they don't play it. That would suck. We have so many removal spells. It would be a bit rough, but something may happen. Apparently, they are just waiting. Okay. Lingering Souls. Fine. I'm going to hold. Um, let's see, we have three. We play the land. Suck it, that's three more mana, so we have six minus two, four. So you can go for dry and play another land, suck it. That's three more mana. We can play finger and souls or something. So I'm going to hold, Not it really matters so much, I'm going to have so much mana now. So play the vista, get a mana. Okay, they kill it in response. We still can play a 3 drop. Um, so we can play like Dryad. 
ampliar el land this fetch wow we already have all of our basics mostly um, we have the marsh flats I'm going to fetch the forest free the dryad free the flats and pass we can tap the flats for mana if we need to we might do that um, there's no need to uh, to clean the top uh, to trim my deck of lands if they reanimate the wrist brand yeah we're in trouble um, we have a couple of champ blockers like a lot of champ blockers but then gaining a lot of life is going to be difficult Shriek mode to kill my dryad sure um, in that case, I'm going to fetch the land uh, also. I think also we have one to. We can acidic slime that too. We fetch also. I have double th triple white, double black. This is double blue and triple white. Um, I'm going to go for the Orso, I'm not sure if this is correct. So I can kill the enemy dead and they can draw like 6, 7 cards. Okay, so if I play this, we are sure to exile this, so that's pretty good. Should I do that or just the acidic slime? The thing is, if I acidic slime and they find other reanimation then that's bad so i think i'm going to go for uh wait no i'm going to tap like this just hold that yeah so i think i'm vote for whatever but i'm going to vote for gristle brand they're going to have a lot of cards in hand but at least they can't reanimate gristle brand again okay So that's pretty important. They have nine cars in hand more than us. Let's just hope they we run them out of win conditions. They're just passing. Okay. That was weird. So what they do? Liliana. Okay, they can reanimate the Shrigma if they want to. No, they don't want to. So we could go for Shieldred. Now we need to use Vindicate. Uh, we can let them have Shieldred. Yeah, we Vindicate this. And just pass. Sad, but nothing we can do about that. And next turn. Glendra, okay, we can kill the library probably. Excavator, can, so we can go for excavator and tokens. They can counter the tokens if they want to, but they need to use the Glendra. Um, or we can just go for the acidic slime. Um, they are going to have 7 cards in hand, so they are going to continue drawing cards. Yeah, I'm going to go for this. Okay, this enters. Go up the library. I was considering removing black, but they have other sources of black, and all their animation is single black, if I recall correctly, in the cube. So, okay, they have that. They lose a lot of life. We sacrifice the slime. Okay, they probably take their excavator. Oh, fine. Yeah, they don't even need to attack with the zombie. We're... So 
Gargoroth uh, that doesn't do it. So we ca I could play the excavator fetch, but we are taking one, two, three, four, five, eleven damage. And even if we kill like the shield dread, we die. So maybe, yeah, maybe my win condition is to play excavator, play the vista, and just hope to draw the. No, even if I draw the Wrath, they can just counter it, so I'm not going to show more of my deck. That was a beating and a half. So, this is my graveyard. Yeah. So, Primal Command can put a non creature on top, like Necromancy or Anime Dead. Fatal Push. No, Fatal Push is not good. So I think Primal Command for sure. Laps. So Laps we can put like the reanimation on top. Um, that might be a consideration. What cards we don't want? This member killed, doesn't kill most of the stuff, like the big stuff, which is the one that we care about, doesn't really do much. Kaya exiles things from the graveyard, so that's great. Pernicious Deed can remove the enchantments that are reanimating. So, yeah, I think I'm going to remove that, and probably a win condition. Either hero of Gargaroth. This has reach, so I'm going to remove the hero. So yeah, this member can kill a couple of things, but not enough in my opinion. Better option would be to just go for a Magadan. But yeah, I'm not saying that. I'll just go for this. Hope we draw the correct the part of our deck. We drew very few removal spells in that game. So okay, we have a couple of good things here. I'm going to keep. Um we can fetch. So I want to fetch something green first, like Savannah. So I'm going to go for strength. I'm going to save my fetches if I can. Here, I think it's Samana with this one and Tundra with the other one. Just play the Cobra. Next time we can fetch the Black White with Heath if they kill the Cobra. They just play the Kaya and start exiling things, working to the ultimate Blossom. Okay. So we have one, two, one, two, three. So we could go for Fracture Identity on the Blossom. Do I care about that? No. I think I want to go for Play the fetch, play the Kaya, and just hold that. Hmm, that's interesting because I could also just play this, hold it, play Lingering Souls, flash it back. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for play the Souls and flash it back. So we have a lot of blockers now, then we can play Gaia. Okay. 
need to talk first. They probably block, yeah. Click Gaia, have it countered or whatever. Come, okay. Why am being response though, right? Wait, uh, this is ah from a single graveyard, okay. So I could extend my own things, but I don't think I want to. They bumped, so they are going to entomb and reanimate. We have the Winds of Abandon. They have a Lesh Norn, which is annoying, but I can work with that. Mm -hmm. I can even play around um, Spell Pierce. You can remove these two things or remove the fairy. I think I want to do this. Just have it with light, high loyalty. Next turn we can go for the deed and whole sacrifice for X0. Okay, you can counter that now. But better than countering something that I don't really care about than something I do. So, Burden Catacombs, instant I can Fracture Identity. Um, or I can just play the Gargaroth. So, let me check one thing. So, do I have any Gravia Recursion? I don't think so. Ah, I have the Uro, so if I play the Uro, I want to be able to flash it back. So I uh, have the Burden Catacomb, so I think I'm going to gain two life. Just that. Play the land. Touch. Probably basic green. And play the Catacombs. Right. Uh, sorry, play the Gargaroth. So this has reach, so if they attack I can just like make a 3-3 or gain life or whatever. So they need to remove that first. Okay, they can't win to another Gargaroth. Interesting. Good to know. Massacre Gorm looks funny with all the tokens. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to change anything I think. No, I didn't see anything to push or dismember. Caracas is actually pretty good against them. We have Acceleration, we have the good saber option of Gaia, so if they go for turn 1 and 2, we can just... or turn 2 and 2, we can exile it if they don't really mix. So, I'm going to play the Shadow, and if they have the other story, even if they have the removal, they have the removal, but apparently they do not. They didn't appear to have Entombed, or they are saving it. They are going to kill the Elves, that's fine with me. Annoying, but just fine. I can play the Vista. Crack for Black. And play the Copter. I like that line. Next time we can start attacking with the copter. So, again, swamp here. Yeah. Play the copter. So this deck is a bit difficult to to navigate because we need to take into account how to fetch all that, especially when you're four colors. Okay. So can we do something about that? Not really. I can play the knight. Start attacking, working to the fracture identity, 
They can carry out the shriek mode, but they can kill her with the regisaur, so I don't like that. To play the reliquary, crew, and attack. We have extra forests to pitch. Yeah. We need to find blue for the fracture identity, but we have the drawing giant and the knight. Yeah, maybe next turn we can just sacrifice a forest fetch, tundra, play a land, and we have five mana there to fracture identity, whatever they play. Hopefully, they go for something good here. No, it's just Tassiger. So if they don't reanimate. What's this? Portal. I can also acquire a uh, fair trade entity the portal. No, I think I'm going to just exile their stuff. This is at the beginning of the upkeep, so they choose to draw first, probably. This is a pretty good combo. They can discard first if they don't have cards, then draw two. Let's see, we are taking seven here. But we can gain life with the Kaya. So I can use their knight to just... Um, run but yeah maybe I prefer to just play the signet play the land we have now three mana we can kaya out the creatures if we do that probably kaya dies though but that's seven life we are gaining so not the end of the world We are gaining some life too by exiling a creature here. So now we can just attack or champ block. So it's either we can keep, we can choose what to keep basically. I think I already did its job now. I can try and attack with the knight. Sorry, with a copter loot. I want to save the knight basically. So, no, maybe I'm going to block with a copter. I think that's fine. We block with the copter, we loot, we put another land in our graveyard to make the knights better. Whatever, this doesn't really matter. So, if they are reanimate Elish Norn, we can steal it. Okay, this is minus two, minus two only. Okay. They lose a chuck load of life. They attack with the register, maybe to our face. Yes, to our face. So now there is the question if I block, I can block, sack the forest, uh, fetch the tundra. I think I'm going to do that. If they have a counter spell, we are kind of in a rough shape though. But yeah, I'm going to do that. Just block here. You can also just bounce it, but... Hmm, maybe colonnade is better, so we can fetch the other one. So here's the deal. We go for Fracture Identity. Oh, wait. I can go for Fracture Identity, hold up Caracas. So even if they counter it, we can we have an out. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So I'm going to do this first. Okay. Now we have 4-7. That just blocks really well. 
well, we can even transform this into a 5 5 and block. It's up to here. Okay, so they probably will need to first draw in this situation. Instead of discard them first, just to have more information before doing that. They are heroes down falling there, going to crew. Have four cards in exile. This deals. Okay, the ultimate is just deal for damage to them. Do I block here? Well, depends. If they go to my face... No, they are going to Gaia. So, yeah, I'm going to block. And I'm going to loot, I think. Trophy. So I can play a 6 line, blow up the portal, have a blocker for this. Oh yeah, I prefer to have that. For sure. I looted here because if I draw like a, a Uro or something that goes well in the graveyard, then that's that's better. But yeah, the a 6 line is pretty good in this spot. Council Judgment, another good one. I don't know why they have a draw step stop here. It's a bit um, uh, fearsome. So yeah, I'm going to play this line, hold up Caracas. This blow up here. Yes. Then we uptick. Wait. Oh, the minus 5, okay. So we can deal 4 damage to them and we gain 4. I don't care about that. I'm going to remove this and the portal probably. No, uh, I don't think they, there is a lot of ways of um, reusing the portal. So so we have this the toucher here, so if they have removal, they can just remove it and then attack the Gaia. Um, which could be problematic, but if they don't, they have to trade with it. So it's going to for sure use another card from their hand. Okay, they just concede. <laughs> Fine, uh, see you in the next one. Nice. So yeah, match number two against this one. Uh, I can't read that. So this hand is pretty bad. Yeah. I'm going to Mulligan. Uh, we need to have some more early plays rather than just this member. This one has kind of rough mana, we don't have green. But I'm going to keep it, just ship something. Probably the deed. We already have two removal spells. And we don't need blue right now. We might need in the future, but black we need for sure. So. We can play that. Next turn we can play another creature land. Just hope to draw like a land or something. So that's good. We can then play either Uro or Leobold. Okay, there I'm rule. This is you. A permanent you control. So this kind of decks normally have like land destruction like stream and all that and they also have like chunky flyers and removal so I think I'm going to start with the Leobold also it's the more difficult card to uh, yeah card to cast so I'm going to start there just HR Forest <coughs> the only color I should have tapped for yeah 
and play the Leo. Pass. So next turn we are going to have four mana, so we can go for Uro. Play another land if we find it. Then have removal spell for whatever they play. Let's hope this is not like something problematic. Oracle. Okay. Wow. So I want to remove that. So I can go for either the Vindicate and play the land. Or play Euro, try to high roll into another green source. Because they've missed a land drop, I want to remove this for sure. So no, I'm going to just Vindicate it. Um, I could save the Vindicate to remove a land, but that's just too, um, too nonsensical for my taste. Going to tap this one. Just destroy that. Attack for three. We know they are drawing a blank. So we are on a good spot. Um, yeah, both of these removal spells put the land into play from them for them, so I don't want to play them right now in this situation. Wow, well, they really didn't enjoy that at all. It's fine. Um, so we saw like two more colors. Yeah, I'm not so sure about what to play or put. Um, I don't think I see anything that's bad. Green makes me want to play Fatal Push. And I think that's the only change I'm going to make. We still don't know exactly what they are playing. So Okay, we have good mana, we have this member, we have Kaya. I'm going to keep um yeah. Lotus Bloom, okay, that's important to know. And Stomping Ground. I don't need blue often, uh, early often, so I'm going to just play the Shambling Bend. Next turn, I think we need to go beast time to green source. Do I care about Barrel? I can kill it. Um, makes their instance cheaper. I mean, I can, but I won't. I think I don't care about Barrel. It's one of those cards that it's good for Storm, but opponent's deck didn't really look like Storm. It's not even attacking, that's kind of weird. So, hmm, do I want to kill it end of turn? I think I do. I, um, his line of play signals to me that they are playing like. Um, control like counter spells or something. So yeah, I wanted to remove that. Now I go. On, I can go for Kaya. If they counter, at least they don't. Um, they don't all salute. So they are going to have the Lotus Bloom now. They can play like a big chunker, but they have removal, so not the end of the world right now. If they pass with the Lotus Bloom up, I can actually just kill it with Kaya. So we have Selman and Danicious pass. Okay. I'm going to start by down here, making sure they use. Okay. This is 3 mana, and I'm not going to be casting anything else. So, yeah, I'm going to. We need to play a black. So, I'm going to play this. Gain some life, which is important. They can kill it with a bolt or something, but they could also kill Gaia with a bolt. So I don't think they have it. We gain some life back. We are at 20. Play another land. They have something. Spell Seeker into probably just Ancestral. Just 
charter course. Okay, that's reasonably worse. They are going to save it until next turn. Okay. Charter course. Yeah, I'm going to play the Gargoroth, I think. Play this, fetch a forest. Okay, that resolves. I'm going to not excite anything, just pass. So we have the Gargaroth to block, so if they want to make their Charter Gorsa draw 2, they need to attack, so we can block and make a 3-3 three, three or draw a card. Wow, that's kind of insane actually. Okay. And we have 4 cards in hand, I'm going to just go for Mega Beast. Start pressuring them. If they want to draw cards, they can, but high tide in this economy. Okay. I wasn't uh, exactly expecting storm here. Um, okay. Scars Oracle, Frantic Search, and make 6 mana, uh, 9 mana, not 6, sorry. They loot, discard Empty and Goblin. Hmm. They didn't tap only one? Uh, yeah, they miss. Wow. That was a misplay from them. They could have untapped 3 lands and more mana. Or maybe just my connection is kind of moby. Uh? Why not? <laughs> okay, I accept. Okay, I accept again. Let's go to the third one. <laughs> okay, last match. This is for the finals against Gosent. Yeah, I like to play first. Wow, we have the Uro Caracas combo, we have Vindicate, and we are on the play. Everything looking fine. I'm going to keep it, I think. I don't know exactly what I'm fetching right now, so I'm just going to play the forest and pass. Red, okay. Aggressive red is kind of annoying, but we have a couple of good cards against them. Uro and Gargaroth. Our fine cards. We reveal Hero of Playhold. Yeah. Another card that if it lands, it's just so good for us. So how we how can we sequence this correctly? I want to fetch the white to have double white and we have Vindicate up. So I'm going to play the Flood Strand and fetch the Shotland, the Gold Shrine. That should allow us to then play Uro next turn. But maybe I don't want to play Uro, so I can play this. Wait, these are two separate triggers. I think I can play Caracas and then bounce it right away. Just gaining three life on drawing cards and playing lands should be enough. Kaya. I want to draw Kaya, honestly. Just play it down tick on Goblin Guide. What's the price of that? To life, two, three. Yeah, now I'm going to shuffle it. Don't like it, but that's what I need to do. So I'm going to play the Vista, crack it, find a blue. And I think this works. I know. I just need to be sure that I do this correctly. We let this resolve. We put the triggers on the stack. So I want to put this first so it resolves last. 
we let this resolve, play the land, hold control, and return this to hand. Nice. Next turn we can go for hero or vindicate this member. Depends on what they do. Mox. Interesting. Mesmeric Fiend, sure. So our hand is pretty gas. Um, it can remove the Uro, probably remove like this member. So we need to use the Vindicate there to unlock the rest of our hand. Still, I can go for Vindicate then this member. We take this number as expected. They shadow skull, they don't bolt, just attack for two. You probably want to attack first so you have the maximum information possible. So I can continue drawing cards and all that. I think I'm going to take a just one turn. The thing is, if I do that, I just use all my removal. So maybe I go for Uro Caracas again. This gains me life, draws me cards. Nice. So with two, we can play as the copter. I'm not going to do that. Just pass the turn now. Next turn we can start doing things like Fracture Identity, the Mesmeric Fiend, or whatever they play now. They play Thran. Uh, sure, sorry, Shark Young Moth, Thran Fish Decision. This can sacrifice itself, so we are going to probably Fracture Identity that. We're taking 3 damage, but that's fine. Can we also do like Uro, Bounce, that's 4. What? You're just sucking the guy to draw cards. Fine by me. Okay, so we have actually... We play Uro, we bounce it, we play two lands, we have 3. We can go for Uro Vindicate, Uro Bounce Vindicate. But I think we just fracture identity the Yogmo. This card is pretty scary. Um, we can also just Caracas it, I guess. Just Caracas, fracture identity the Mesmeric Fiend. I think I like that actually. That's a very good tempo play. We can also just take the young most, so, so we know we had a good payoff for sure. Okay, if they suck that, we get the dismember back. They bounce the young moth. We can fracture identity the mox, that doesn't really accomplish much. So we can just play the Gargaroth. They probably have removal, but this is just a good play. If next turn they just play Yogmoth, we can just dismember, attack, or fracture identity attack, make a beast. Thoughts is? Sure. Probably take the fracture identity, it's so good. I don't know how they beat this hand though. We have good interaction and good threats. They just play Yogmoth again. Fine by me. So I could either kill it or bounce it. If I bounce it, I have six mana. If I have six mana, I can go Hero Copter. That looks like a plan, in my opinion. Wait. Ah, oh, yeah, we have the white right here. So yeah. We bounce here. We attack. I'm just going to make a beast. Mm, 
And then next turn, we have lethal probably with hero. Um, and I'm just going to play the copter, mostly because this is good against rats, which they might have. And if they don't have a wrath, we win the game basically. <laughs> they have, or maybe they have like two or three removal spells. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the sideboard and see what we can fetch. I'm going to turn off the AC. Okay, so Yogmoth tokens. Fatal Push looks pretty good. So does Butter Skull, so these are the cards that I care about. Primal Command might be good, Massacre Worm, well also could be good, but Triple Black is kind of difficult. I don't think I even can, we have like one, two sources of black, plus the Shambi Men, so we need to actually draw that, or the Elves, or the Cobras, or, or the Dryad. Well, we have a couple of outs, but... Um, Pretty difficult, not gonna lie. So, Ingrid Souls looks good, Wings of Abandon again looks good. Knight of the Reliquary, it's a good threat. This is a human though, which is interesting. Deed is a great wrath. Probably Hero is worse win condition than Butter Skull. And the Slime Ball. I don't see any reason to play the slime ball. Um, no, we didn't see anything. Just oh, okay. Oh, it always can just remove a land, but yeah, we don't care about any of the of the other spells they cast. So just going to go with this. But the school is a good way, good way of gaining life. So we have like Gargaroth, Butter School, and the uh, sorry Uro to gain life. This is such a weird deck. I don't know, I kind of low-key love it. <laughs> this is also working pretty well lately, uh, sorry, in this league, so... I don't know, maybe just mid-range piles of colors is a good archetype. I actually don't know how I'm going to name this video. <laughs> um, it's kind of difficult to parse. So, yeah, we have good removal spells, we have a couple of good threats in Gargaroth, Butter School, just Uro cards that just gain the, win the game, that are either value cards like Gargaroth if they survive, or they are like just value otherwise. Here we have all of our colors, right? We can fetch black here and we have four colors. Yeah, I'm going to keep. We are on the draw though, so this might be a bit slow for the against the Goblin Guy deck. The Mulia to six, which is good news for us. Swift Spear, okay. Let's see what happens. We are probably going to start with just the forest. Well, maybe with Council Judgment, I want to play the Tundra. The thing is, if they go for Wasteland, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, I'm going to go for Forest next turn, Tundra into Signet. They could have a lot of the, um, artifact destruction. That's kind of the, what um, Rakdos does in this archetype, in this format, sorry. In the queue, there is like. Um, Colorant Command and uh, uh, the Red T and all that. Let's see what they find. Mox Diamond and Beer Blossom. So they might be able to just play the Blossom if they have two lands in hand. I love the old school feel of this art. The the colors of the art and the and the border really really work together so I really like that. I always kind of enjoy looking at this art. <laughs> it's kind of the whole thing is just a work of art. So we are probably thinking if they want to play the Mox Diamond or not. 
maybe they were thinking of saving them to next turn so they can have like a monastery Swiss spear that's huge. Probably going to do that next turn. So, okay, so I could go for either Elves doesn't really help that much, neither does Signet. So I could go for Fetch a Land, Heal the Blossom. Or I could just play the Beast and Pass, hold the trophy for when they go for a couple of spells and kill the Swiss Spear. And if they go for Young Moth, then I know I need to remove either the Blossom or the Young Moth. We're probably going to play the Mod Simon, if not just to sacrifice it to trigger the Swiss Spear. So we know it's a 2 3 now. We don't really have good blockers for the Swiss Spear. Okay, they don't have a land, they are going to just attack with the Swiss Spear. So I think I'm going to just remove the Blossom end of turn. Yeah. Oh, they have land. Interesting. Empty. Okay. So now we need to find one of our ways of cleaning the board like a pernicious did. Mm. So this free spirit is not going to be that good because they have only one card in hand. So next turn we are probably going to just drop the Leobold. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise we are just playing one spell. So I think I'm going to play the better spell and just pass. This can block the tokens or the Swift Spear. If they have a bolt, then we draw a card. Yogmoth is kind of really great for them. Yeah, this is a nice combo, Empty Warrens, Yogmoth. They can just draw a lot of cards. Um, this is something that... Yeah, they can target it with something, but if they do, we draw cards. They are thinking of sacrificing goblins to kill the Leobold. Yeah, probably after combat, that makes sense. So we are both going to draw cards here. Yes. Yes. Okay, land is good. Land lets let us well, we could play Ramon of Excavator and else. The Excavator can block, so they can just kill it using goblins. I think I want to play the Colonnade so we have access to Council Judgment next turn. Well, we could also just play the Signet. So playing the Elves here is not that good. They can just kill it, sacrificing something, and they draw a card. So they have five. So if I play something, I want it to be big, right? So Ramon Up Excavator is actually pretty big. They have to sacrifice all the three things. We can play the beast. Uh, we don't have a white source, but we can play just colonnade instead. So play this as a blocker and play the colonnade. Oh no, I misclicked. No, I can't believe it. That was super rough. The, the graveyard popped up and I misclicked. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I could play the elves here. They can kill both. Yeah. 
now that I made the misplay, I'm not going to um, make it worse. I'm just going to play as best I, uh, as best as I can, right? So they can attack with the young moth. I'm not going to block the young moth. I'm going to block the goblins. They might not attack with the goblins. Okay. Um, here I'm going to go for blocking and prevention. So here we are in the same spot. If they want to kill the Ramon up, they need to sacrifice all their tokens. So they can actually kill both of their of our stuff unless they use unless they find something else to cast. this oh they can proliferate that's true it's difficult to play against your moth interesting so they can proliferate putting a counter on the run up it dies interesting I didn't play around that uh-huh so we actually just trade against one but next one we can play the gargoroth for sure or the battle skull probably the gargoroth Okay, now we can't. Yeah, if we had the colonnade in play, I could just cause judgment the Yogma. So rough. Rats, okay. Okay. Then some blockers. I can play Signet and Souls and the colonnade. I'm going to do that. Sorry about the misplay, the. <laughs> You saw that the, the client just popped up because of the graveyard and I just click too quickly. So let's play the souls. We have a couple of blockers. Again, one ones are great against Young Moth. They can kill it, but they need to sacrifice something. They can create a token, sacrifice it, and ping, so they can do that, yeah. It's the same as if we blocked, but they also draw a card. Again, if we had the concept judgment that, uh, the previous turn, we could have just killed the Yogma, but we can't now. I can't really block here. We have six mana, so they can create two copies, so we go to two. I'm going to just block here, force them to make a copy now. Okay, so we can constant judgment, let's play a couple of Chum blockers. Next turn we can hold, drop one of the big creatures. I like that. First, just play the judgment, which we would have played previous turn on this one. Okay, and we flash back the souls. We are equal on most resources in cards and all that, but we are a bit behind on life. I'm very behind on life, so next turn Battle Skull or Gargoroth are a good place. I'm going to make another rat. We are probably going to just double jump here. If we can, because they might just have a removal spell of sorts, or they are going to make more copies. Well, they can make two copies and they hit us for five, so they're actually dead. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to just concede. Okay, so that was rough. We just misclicked and lose the game there. So we know more what they are doing. Um, 
acidic slime kills the um, the bitter blossom and any land, so I like that. I like the blocker of Dryad. Braska. Ugh, I'm just going to remove it. It's good, but it's just value, and I think we outvalue them by a lot if they don't have a Yogmoth in play, which they shouldn't have, right? Like, um, they need to draw it and we need to not draw removal, so they shouldn't have Yogmoth in play. Yogmoth should be bad against our deck. Um, because we have so much removal, we have Vindicate, Push, Dismember, Trophy, Wings of Abandon, Constant Judgment, Fracture Identity. <laughs> we have so much removal, so we just need to draw that and we should be fine. Um, Lapse of Certainty. I didn't saw anything that makes Lapse of Certainty better. Um, normally, if they play something like uh, Tinker, for example, Lapse of Certainty is so good because they have to sacrifice as part of the cost. Um, I didn't see that from them, so I don't care about that. Primal Command might be useful too, but it's too many fives. So we have Elves and five drops and good mana. I'm going to keep. It's a speculation we need to draw removal spells. How so many? They move to six, at least. They keep the six. Okay, let's just play the elves. Hope to draw a three drop. We have like ten three drops, or they have a guide. Okay. Puro, it's a nice draw. Uh, can we play it? Oh, we have the island. Okay, of course we can. So yeah, I'm going to just do that. Play Uro. To play this tapped. And next turn we can drop a Butter School or Gargaroth. Probably the Gargaroth. They need to have like here Stonefall to kill it. Also Signet. I don't really care about that. I'm just going to fetch. Um, probably Tundra. No. We need double green for the Garboroth. So, Savannah it is. Yeah, Savannah. They can kill it, but next turn we can drop a Barter School or even a Copter and crew it with the Elves. Which again should be good against the Goblin Guy deck. Play another Swamp. They don't attack. Okay. So I'm just going to attack with the Gargaroth and draw a card, I think. No, I'll make a 3 3. Yeah, I'm going to make a 3 3. Three threes in this board are better than a card. I would pay three mana for a three three here. <laughs> so yeah, um, they can champ block, I guess. Maybe they have something to give it, like a char. Double block, single block. Okay, it has trample, so they aren't champ blocking. They are trying to kill it. Probably char is my guess. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure what they are doing then. Colonel's command kill the elves. Sure.
I could go for maximum life gain with the battle school or also Signet Copter. I'm going to go for also Signet Copter. So if they attack, we can uh, block with the Copter and loot. Oh, if they attack, probably we block with the Carburath. So they drew Yogmoth again. They are very good at drawing Yogmoth. So what can you do about that? So we are going to probably shuffle, fetch Thunder here. Yeah. We want to loot, so we fill the yard for Uro. Thunder. Catacombs. Can we flash back Uro this turn? Not really. I'm not going to tap the butter school. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, no. Crew tapping the beast. I'm going to attack with both. Three speaker kind of just dies, but yeah, no, I don't want this. Can pitch this. So I can. <coughs> we are doing that again. This has trample, so it's not that good, you know. I can shrink something, okay. They shrink the beast. Go to six. Let me check what they could what could they have, right? Like uh, conscripts would be bad for us. They can sacrifice creatures. Um but we have the copter to prevent well no, not really. Um can we play this and bounce it? That's eight mana we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So no. Um, yeah, I'm going to just flashback Uro. I think it's the best play we can make this turn. Splashing Uro like it's no problem. Um, yes, I'm going to play this, I think. Next turn we can go Butter School Bounce if we need to. So if they have Silos Conscripts, they can steal the Uro or the Gargaroth attack, sacrifice it. So they have a couple of good plays. Okay. That's a really good play for them. So they have four, five tokens or counters they can uh, send. They're not going to attack though, interesting. Mm. I think we're just going to attack with both of these. This will probably die, but we don't care. No, cancel, wait. Yeah, I'm going to play the Butter School. And attack all. I think this is the correct play. It's kind of weird, but this makes a lot of value for us. I misclicked, I think, whatever, same thing. Yeah, I don't need the no land. We can make another creature. Now we we'll gain some life too. We don't put anything into play. So now we have even the Winds of Abandon. 
So if they survive here somehow, they still have removal. I don't think they can survive, but... Okay. <coughs> um, they need to block the here too, and also this loses life, so it's not like they can uh, shoot things willy nilly. You are not dead, but you're pretty much dead, yeah. Um, they can shoot things at my sculptor because they're going to lose the life anyway. And they're going to draw a couple of cards, so I think it makes sense to do that. Okay, they're rearranging again. I think their deck without Young Moth doesn't really function. Well, maybe they have like Skull Clamp or um, other good uh, token um, payoffs. But we only saw like the same 6 7 cards in <laughs> both games. So we really can't assess the power level of the deck of the opponent. But it looks certainly very, very fun. So there's that. Okay, so there you're taking 3 6. So you can't do that block. Yeah, that block makes more sense. Um, block with the goblin to the elder Gargaroth. That way you are taking two here, three here, so you can shoot a couple of things. We still just kill their whole board, and we end up with a couple of things. Maybe we even don't kill the Yarmouth. They are so low on life total, they don't really do much. I mean, Yarmouth doesn't really do much. And we hold up Bounce for the Battle School. Wow, they are really tanking on this, on this block. Okay, there they are absorbing 7 damage in the Gargaroth, so they can move the Goblin other place. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So they can now shrink here, heal the token, and shrink um, one of the... No, yeah, shrink here, kill the token, this survives, this survives, this survives, all the rest die. So I don't know if that's correct. Need to untap and do something great if they do that block. I think the correct block is like this, the goblin here and the yogmoth here. Then you shoot the charm blocks into the flying threats. And if you want to, you can shrink here instead. I think. Wow. Uh, maybe they are trying to kill the Garbaroth. And they are jumping through some hoops to accomplish that. Um. So yeah, um, they're tanking pretty hard, so I would have paused the recording if I thought it was going to be so long, but um, I didn't, so... I don't even remember if this is the third, I think this is the third game. Okay, so how do I order this? They are taking zero here. I could kill the Yogmoth. The thing is, if they shoot three things here, 
one, two, three, four. So this is a two. This doesn't kill Yogmoth, but I'm forcing them to do this here. If I reorder differently, mm, because if I don't, if I don't, um, if I don't put this Yogmoth on top, they can shoot the copter and kill it, and I kind of value that copter. So I think I'm going to go like this. Now I want the Yogmoth to survive, so I'm going to do it the other way around. They can shoot this at my Gargaroth still, but I'm going to make them do it, basically. If they do it, uh, it can be helped, but if not, then I can just let them sacrifice all their tokens, then I just remove the Yogmoth and they have nothing. Okay, they are going to shoot the Copter still. So blocking with the goblin, um, I'm wondering if okay they are shrinking here so it doesn't kill all, everything. Doesn't really need to do that. The way I ordered the blocks, Yomoth was going to survive still. Yeah. They go to one. Can they have like a... Oh, I don't know what they can have. I'm going to just remove this. Pass the turn. If they have damnation, I can just play up attack with the band or whatever. So. If they have through the bridge emerald, <laughs> I can't do anything about that. I guess. Well, I even survived through a through the beach chamber pool, I think. Back rat. Okay. Can they discard something and reanimate it? That would be awesome. Okay. Awesome. Uh, this was another trophy. Great. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. This deck was something else. Uh, let me review it very quickly. So let me... Okay, so this deck was pretty strange. We have several cards that uh, on each face they don't really work together, like your actress speaker and like, I don't know, uh, Constant Judgment <laughs> or your actress speaker and like Uro. They are kind of weird um, cards that it shows power level paired with amazing fixing. We just during the draft portion of the of this cube, we really went deep into how to stay open and pick the good cards, stay see what what the signals were. Um, we didn't really saw or maybe correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, comments if you find something else that was open and then didn't re didn't realize. But I think no big archetype was open. Like uh, I don't think we would have gone mono green or uh, some blue deck. Uh, I don't think any of those was very open. Maybe a bit reanimator, but even there we didn't even see like entomb or reanimate. So I think we did a pretty good job of just picking the good cards, finding fixing for it, and prioritizing fixing over everything else, basically. And the reason to do that is that every card in this cube is so good that you can just play like this pile of cards and win trophies. Um, because you have like good removal, uh, some pressure, some uh, rats, some really strong cards uh, on the top. And you know, just the most efficient way of e uh, either interacting with your opponent or um, just putting pressure to your opponents. So I think overall this deck was pretty fun. Uh, I really had my fair share of fun bouncing Uro with Caracas and 
a smaller, a smaller sculptor, filling my yard to plastic bag and things like that. And just kind of assessing the board state in every step and seeing when we have to remove something and when we kind of have the option of not doing that. So yeah, I think this deck is obviously very difficult to play, um, but not difficult to draft. I think that this kind of four or five color nonsense pile can be drafted pretty easily if the fixing is open. And if you prioritize that over uh, strange build arounds, um, uh, maybe I just, I, I buy like a Tinker or something like that because I didn't know if I was going to make it. So playing just fair can work sometimes. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I learned this, this league. So uh, thank you so much for watching, honestly, and uh, uh, see you next time.